These worshipers, they were encouraged and admonished to dig wells as they passed through the valley of Baca. They were admonished to dig wells and to exercise worship to their God in the valley in order to refresh and revive their hearts. And you can read that in the verses surrounding uh, Psalms 85, 6. You can read that. And the idea here is for their sorrow to be turned into rivers of delight. And that's in Psalms 36, 8. Amen. And that's what we need to learn from that today. In this world, as troubling as it is right now, and as it's reeling back and forth right now, we're going to have to learn that our rivers of delight are dug in the valley of tears, and our blessing is in that. Our blessing is in that. That's our worship right there. That's true worship right there as, as we do that right there. And David also learned in Psalms 87, he said, All my springs are in God. All my springs are in God. His, his nourishment and his thirst was satisfied and quenched in God. And once the pilgrims had the right attitude, and their determination was to dig wells where there is only dryness and barrenness, the psalmist sees the sterile and desolate valley made joyous by cheerfulness and happiness and songs and those who are on their way to the sanctuary of God in Jerusalem. So there's a transformation that takes place as we dig a well passing through the valley of tears. A transformation that takes place. And that's what you're going to get out of these messages right here. From the Word of God, as it opens up to you, you're going to learn how to transform your situation, your present valley of tears, your present lamenta lamentations, and your present barrenness and dryness, and you're going to learn how to turn it into a well, turn it into springs of delight that are found in God Almighty, and you're going to come out of this with a true and pure and righteous worship that really ha has meaning to it. Okay? That's what we're going to get out of this. So stick around for more.